Hello, welcome. Um, so in this video, we will create uh, this registration form. Um, whenever you want to uh, create a, an account in uh, a platform is like Facebook or Twitter, um, you create, you fill out a registration form like this. Uh, you put your basic information, you submit it, and then you are registered into that platform. So we will create this, uh, this registration form um, using HTML. So before we dive in, um, there is a few tags that I want to mention um, that I'm going to be using when we are creating this uh, registration form. So we're using about seven different tags. So the first tag we're going to use is called form tag because this is a form that we're going to create it. The second uh, tag we will use is called label. Uh, label enables us to create um, those labels right here. First name, last name male, female, email, those are labels. So it will help us to create those ones. The third tag we're going to use is called um, input. So the input, we, it helps us to create this box right here. These boxes that we're going to put information in. The fourth tag we want to use is called radio. So the radio is like this little button right here that when you put your first and last name here and you choose the option, um, whether you are a male or a female, that's called radio. So that's the other tag we will use it. The fifth tag we will use here is called select. The select tag is uh, for the birthday. Um, when you put your birthday, you have to choose, you have to select your, the month you were born, the day you were born, the year you were born, right? So that's the select tag. Um, the sixth tag we're going to use is also checkbox. Checkbox is this one right here. When you say I agree to the terms and conditions, that little checkbox, that's called checkbox. So that's another tag. And finally, the last tag we will use is called button, which is the submit button right here. These are seven different tags that we're going to use to create um, this uh, registration form. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. Um, this is a sublime uh, text that we're going to use it. Um, I will put my, I will save this one and call a name and uh, maybe I can call form. Okay. And dot HTML because you have to put that HTML at all the time. So I'm going to put form dot HTML, save it. And I'm going to put my, I'm going to start coding. So this is called a pilot plate. So I'm going to put it in here. The name of my, the title of my registration column is called form. And then the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to create um, this title, register. So I'm going to put here, that's the title. It's called H1, which is the, um, the Vixer title. And so I'm going to put here register, register. All right, so before I do anything else, let me just open my file and then see if I have anything in my file. So let me go back to where I saved it. I put it here where it is from, uh, right here. So I'm going to open here. Uh, let me open it up. All right, so I only have this name right here right now. The form I want to create is this whole thing. But when you look at my form right now, I only have the name. Okay, so now the second thing I want to do is that I'm going to create the first and last name. So I'm going to go back here to my supply, and then I'm going to use the form tag. That's the first thing I want to use. And then the second one I'm going to use is the label, uh, label tag. The first label is going to be for the first name. So I'm going to say label for, for first name. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to put the, uh, the tag here, first name, right, column. And then I'm going to, so that will give me just the first uh, name. It gives me here on the column. It doesn't give me anything else. If I right now save it, and if I refresh my form, 
I only have this. I don't have the box. I don't have the box. So the, the box is for the input. I don't have this box right here. So then I'm going to use the other tag, which is the input. So the input tag, the ID will be the same as the one we had it up there, which is going to be first name. And then what goes here is a text. So I'm going to put here text because that's where the name goes. And this is going to be the first name too. Uh, right, so I'm going to, if I save that and I go back to my form, now I have the box. But if you look at this one, you have a placeholder, say it's the first name. So I want to put that one in here too as well by saying placeholder, placeholder will be first name. And I'm going to make a space here between the two. Okay, so if I refresh right now, I have a first name and I have the placeholder. I'm going to do the same thing for the um, uh, for the last name, this last name. So all I would do, I would do right now is I can copy this and then put it right here. And then I'm simply going to change to last name. I can actually do a one at the same time. So I'm going to use a control and then backspace, delete all first, and then put simply last. Okay. So you all change it for me. And I'm going to say, um, go back here, refresh. Now I got last name. Okay. So the first two, so it's coming along right now. I have the first and last name. Now we need to create this radio button right here for the gender. Um, I'm going to create the same thing, same label. Um, first label will be four. This is going to be what? Gender. And the first one will be male. Okay, so that and that is going to be the input here. Input tag here will be the ID. It's the same ID that we had it in there. So it's going to be gender. And the type here is not going to be a text. It's going to be a radio. We said this one is called radio button, right? So we're going to use CSA here, radio. And then the name here will be gender. All right? And then that is a, we created the first one. To create the female, you just duplicate this. And what I'm using right now, I'm using Control, Shift, and D. That duplicates for me. Um, all you need to do is change here to female. Okay? There will be a slight problem, but we will have it everything that we need. So if you go here and refresh it, we got it here. But the problem is that it is coming the same line. It's not like this. We need to create a new new pattern, new uh, new new uh, new new line. So to create a new line, all we need to fix that problem is to put um, a p tag. P tag is like a paragraph. So we're going to enclose a p tag and put it over here. So we refresh it, and if we refresh right now, this is going to come here. Look at that. Okay, so it's right here. So we have the radio button. Okay. <clears throat> now what we need to do is that we need to create this part right here, which is the email. We're going to basically create the same thing that we created up there. The only difference is that this is going to be an email. This is going to be a password. Okay, so we're going to use the same uh, label that we've used it before. Um, so the first label is for what? Email. Okay, so we're going to put here email. Input here, it's going to be what? The ID is going to be the same ID that we have in the top, which is going to be an email. The text here will be email. And the name here is the email. Okay? So if that is the, uh, the email, the password will be the same. So I can simply... Control, Shift, and D, that's copy, and paste it for me. 
<clears throat> all I need to do is that I'm going to change instead of an email, I'm going to change the password to all of them. Um, so I'm going to okay change the password to all of them. For the password, um, that may not be working for me. So here, password. Password, 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 and then here you put password, okay? Okay, all right, password. All right, so refresh this one to so go back here. And let's refresh it. So we have it here, but it says still says email. Um, I didn't create here the password. It has to say here password right here. Password. Okay. And now it says password right here. Okay. So that's it. What we need to do the placeholder is missing right now here. So we're going to put the placeholder. Um, by just putting over here, here we're going to put the placeholder, it's going to be placeholder with the email. And then this one, the placeholder will be password. So you refresh it now, now you get it, this one. So if you compare the two forms right now, um, we almost have all of this here. What we need to do is that to create this birthday with the select button. Okay, so we'll come back here. We're gonna create that. To do that, we're gonna create another tag. The same thing that we did before. <clears throat> so this tag right now is for birthday birthday, birthday here, birthday. All right, so that's that. And then now we're not using input. We will use the what we said select tag because it is, um, if you look at here, it's a selection. We have to select the month and the day and the year, right? So it's gonna be a select tag. So to create a select tag, you simply say select. Um, the name for this, it's going to be, um, it's going to be the birthday. So for the select, we should have options because there is an option is here. Um, there are options here. So we're going to use options, what we call option tag. So the option tag is like option. That's basically what it is. So I'm going to duplicate that. And then the first one, we're gonna put it, because it, the first one has to say month. And then after the month, you can say January, February, March, right? So the first option, we're gonna put um, month. And then the rest, you're gonna put January, February, March, April. Okay, so that is that. Um, all you need to do is that to create another, to do the same thing for the day, you're gonna do this exactly the same select tag. So you have another select tag and another option, um, and then <clears throat> just duplicate it. This one will be day, because you have to have the day right here. And then the rest, you can put whatever numbers you wanna put it. You can put two, one, two, three, or something like that. And then the last one is the same thing. I'm just going to duplicate this. And instead of a day, I'm going to put here the year, right? And then we can put here maybe 1990, um, 2000, maybe 2001, maybe 2002. This is sample. Okay, so that's what we have. So now if we go to our form right here and we refresh it, make sure we save it, and we refresh it, 
this is what happened. So now we get the same problem. It's in the same line, but we need to push it back down here. So now you know how to solve it. You just put it on a P tag, which is the paragraph tag, uh, um, P tag, on P tag, P tag, you enclose with a P tag, have it this, put it at the bottom right here, save it, come back here, look at what happened if we refresh it. It's gonna come down here. And we got all the button and all the th things that we put it in here is working for us. Okay, so if you go back to the form that we have it now, what we need to this paragraph right here with a checkbox, right? Very simple. So we're going to do a B tag because that's a paragraph, right? Uh, no, um, all you need to do is a P tag. I agree with the terms and conditions. So, and then we're gonna put um, a checkbox, right? So the checkbox will be, um, we're gonna say input right here. It's gonna be checkbox. And then the name here will be the checkbox. Right there. So now, if we come back here and refresh it, we got that I agree with the terms and condition is, and we got this checkbox right here, okay? So now if we go back to our form right here, the only thing that we're missing right now is the select button, I mean the submit button. So that's very easy. Put the button right here, button, you're gonna say submit. Okay, so now if we go back to our form, Everything is all good except the last one. So refresh it. We got the button right there. Okay, good. So that is that's how you create the form. Um, I'm sure maybe if you don't have a prior experience in an HTML coding, you might get confused with all of those options and these coding and all that stuff. But um, it's very simple when you know how these uh, labels work. It's going to be very simple. And that is how we can create a form. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye.